more crimes, insider trading. So insider trading or insider dealing is basically you having secret information about the listed company. Let's say if your company is listed on the stock exchange, uh, you have a secret news about your company and you trade on it or even you attempt on to trade on it. Nobody knows that news. You know if that news is announced, it's going to have an effect on the share price. You know, for example, your CEO is going to resign. For example, nobody knows that except for you. And you know the resignation of the CEO is going to affect the share price. So you go and you secretly trade based on that information. So you trade on an information that is specific, that is private, and that's going to have an effect on the share price. That is insider trading. It's criminal. So there is both a fine and jail. Now, keep in mind, traps in the exam. Let's concentrate. For insider trading, it's important in the exam to understand the laws of insider trading. Where are they applicable? To what are they applicable? Obviously, they are applicable to shares. This is an example I just gave you. You buy shares of your company, you trade on them. They're applicable to bonds. So whenever you're buying shares and bonds, watch out. You might be committing insider trading. And derivative contracts on shares and bonds. And CFDs and ADRs, which are derivatives, types of derivatives, on shares. So shares and bonds and any derivative contract based on shares and bonds, all of these securities are protected under insider trading laws. That means be very careful when you trade in them because they are protected by insider trading laws. Insider trading laws do not cover commodities because there are no insiders in commodities. Who has secret news about gold? Nobody has secret news about gold. Nobody has secret news which will affect gold. He can trade on it. So commodities don't have, don't have insiders. So commodities are not covered under insider trading. Derivatives on commodities, remember derivatives are just contracts. They follow the asset. Derivatives on commodities also, they don't follow insider trading. That means you can trade commodities and derivatives on commodities without worrying about insider trading because insider trading laws do not cover commodities and, and derivatives on commodities. And they do not cover open-ended investment companies or open-ended open -ended funds. Remember open-ended funds in the previous chapter? All of these are not covered by insider trading. That means close-ended funds, unit investment trusts, investment trust companies, and REITs, real estate investment trusts. These three close-ended companies, close-ended funds, these three, since they are listed on the stock exchange and they are traded and they are close-ended, they are close-ended, they are protected by insider trading laws. Very popular question in the exam. So yes, I would just say, which of the following is covered or protected or falls under insider trading laws? And then they will give you a list of funds. Choose the close-ended fund because that's the one that is protected or covered under insider trading laws. So this is a way for CISI to combine chapter seven and eight together. Basically forcing you to remember what are the closed and the open-ended funds and forcing you to remember which ones are covered by insider trading or not. So let's say A is the guy who works in the company and he has secret information. So A has secret information and he gives the information to B and B deals. Who has committed insider trading? So everybody would say both. Uh, because, well, first of all, B, he got the secret information and he dealt. So we know B, he did insider trading. This is given. But A is the one who had the secret information and he is the one who announced it. So A also did insider trading. No. The person who had the news and who gave it to B did not commit insider trading because they did not do the dealing themselves. And because these types of questions, the problem with this question in particular, yet is because CISI doesn't clarify what A did. They only say A provided the information to B. Did A deal? No. Did A tell B to deal? No. For all you know, A could be the accountant 
and accountants have all of the information of the companies, and B, you could be the auditor. And accountants are required by law to provide auditors with all information. So A provided information to B as part of a legal contract. So A did nothing wrong. It is B's responsibility not to deal. So employees of companies can provide secret information to outsiders. You can provide them to consultants who come to the company to do some changes to your operations and your procedures. So giving secret information to somebody else is not necessarily bad. And CISI never gives you detail on that. They'll just say A gave secret information to B. But it's B who dealt. So it's B who did insider trading. A, we don't know. We're not really sure. That's why it's only B who has done insider trading. I think on the portal we call them Tom and Tom and Harry. Yeah, it's a very, very, very famous question, by the way. We, we were quite famous because every bank we go to and we give them this Tom and Harry question, every employee gets it wrong. Um, it's a very, very tricky question. Ah, really? Because I remember it's one of the employee, one of our students who told us he got a question says Tom and Harry. So we took the question and we put it on the portal directly. Many of the questions we have on the portal are from feedback from our students. Anyway, moving on. So market abuse, this is a civil offense. Civil means fine only. No jail. I'm not going to go to jail. The fine is going to hurt, but I'm not going to go to jail. Market abuse in this qualification, sometimes it's called market manipulation. Uh, this is when I want to influence the market. I want to distort the market. I have bought shares of... Uh, of a certain company and the share price is not going up. I need to make money. So what do I do? Spread the rumor uh, in the market. This company has won a contract from the government. People start buying that that, that share. Share price starts going up. So I have, I have influenced the price of the share. And the exam always link it to rumors. See, I say whenever they're asking about market abuse, uh, they usually link it uh, to uh, rumors. Um, just one more thing, the the EU law that covers market abuse is called Market Abuse Directive. So Market Abuse Directive under the EU, market abuse covers two things. It covers insider trading and it covers uh, market manipulation. M-A-D. Moving on. So, CISI says, uh, talking about ethics, whenever you are uh, assessing a dilemma, a dilemma is a problem that you need to choose between two choices. CISI says your decision should be open. That means everybody involved is fully aware. You can't make a decision that's going to involve me and not tell me. It should be honest. That means it has to be legal. It should be transparent, clear to everybody, and it should be fair, fair and just to everybody. In the exam, you might get a question that says, if a decision is said to be honest, what does that mean? That means it complies with the laws. Um, again, sometimes they do pop up in the exam. And finally, the CISI Code of Conduct. Anybody who becomes a member of the CISI Institute, uh, you're expected to follow the CISI Code of Conduct uh, towards your different stakeholders, towards your clients, towards your regulators, towards other market participants, uh, towards your profession, towards your society. You need to show accountability, focus, personal development. I don't know what I expected to memorize from this page. Um, um, if they're going to ask you, they would say, uh, when it comes to conflict of interest and the avoidance of conflict of interest, or what are the interested stakeholders? I doubt. I doubt. I really doubt. I don't think anybody's got questions on this. 
But either way, we just put it for you as a slide, you know, to just um, take a look at it. Just glance over it. No need to memorize it. Just glance over it.